Hey guys, Plakasagi here. And it's who I'm playing Anthropocene. This game is a short interactive narrative game from Itch.io. It was made for Global Game Jam this year. Um, so I don't want to tell too much about this game. Something I didn't want to look at too deeply, but I like interactive narrative games, so I'm just gonna get started. But I, I could just say it's a little bit about the game. It's a game about planet Earth's history and the human impact on the environment, basically. So let's just uh, get started. First wave of extinction. Antro Vacasin. So I don't know how to pronounce that last part. So Celerayan? Let's we'll go with that. 443 million years ago. Planet Earth was inhabited by millions of different species. This is a now to Lloyd. His name is Frank. Frank tried to survive the Ice Age. Okay. Unfortunately, Ice Age killed 85% of all species. That sucks. R.I.P. Frank. R.I.P. Second wave of extinction. Late Devonian. Yeah, late Devonian. 359 million years ago. It's pretty cool. Now they get time for planet Earth. I'm sure we all know that. Meet a fossil agenta fish named Nancy. Will she survive the change in sea level? Maybe. Three fourths of all species on Earth died out. Okay. R.I.P. Nancy. Oh, Nancy. Third wave of extinction. Permian Triassic. Okay. It's pretty educational. Also known as the Great Dying. Okay. 252 million years ago. Planet Earth was still filled with many, many species. But most likely because of the impact of an asteroid, only 100% of all species survived. Only 99% of all species survive. Only 98. 97, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Wow. I guess they're dropping like flies. Okay. I guess we'll have to go through all of them. So I know a lot of them died off of the asteroid and everything. I don't know all of it, but it's pretty interesting. RIP 96 of the world species. So pretty much almost everyone. Fourth wave of extinction. Triassic, Jurassic. And I'm sure we all know this from the Jurassic movies. And I'm sure they're coming out with a, another one. Or that might be Godzilla. Never mind. 201.3 million years ago. Dinosaurs now exist. This is a gymnosperm. Barbara is her name. She's a bisexual plant. Yay! <laughs> Despite the asteroids, the flood, basalt explosions, and the oxygen drop, life is pretty great for plants. That is true. We all need them. However, 70% of the world species go extinct. Fifth wave of extinction. Cretaceous Paleogene. I feel like I should have looked at this before I started recording so I could pronounce these right, but forgive me for butchering the names. 66 million years ago. All dinosaurs must die. We gotta keep the T-Rex. Well, um, maybe. At least a few would like the 
the herbivores maybe like they were all bad a lot of them were really nice the ornithosaurus is the fastest dinosaur paul is trying hard to escape from eruptions and asteroids not even the fastest will make it i totally butchered that i could not even get a word out on that r.i.p paul and every other dinosaur Sorry, Paul. Gotta be quicker than that. For a million years of, of years after the fifth wave, things are pretty okay. Many new species evolved. Yep, that is true. New animals, new plants, new life. Then 200,000 years ago, this guy showed up. Oh. Yeah, that guy. Homo sapiens Rodrigo. Rodrigo evolved a lot through thousands of years. One after another. Yep. New cultures. New discoveries. Sometimes driven by the arts. I love the arts. Arts and craft and all that good stuff. Most often driven by profit. People love money. Starting from the Industrial Revolution. So this is a rundown of pretty much everything. The rate of extinction is 10 to 100 times higher than any previous wave. Okay. Sixth wave of extinction. Anthropocene, which is the name of this game. Okay. Or the extinction wave caused by man. Facts. F A C T S. Facts. Happening now. Yeah, this world is getting crazier and crazier by the second. Rodrigo is busy cutting thousands of trees. The habitat is not partially important to him. He will sell the trees as timber or fuel. I see shade. He also creates land to build factories and oil pipelines. Shade. Everyone will make good capital money. Not everyone. Every year, 18 million acres of forest are lost in the process. Far too many. Now the land is free and nature is at his service. Rodrigo can finally start to make some real money. While making animals extinct in the process. Factories and pipelines are created by men to extract and sell natural resources. Rodrigo always needs more money. Money is very important to him. Oh boy. And look, the animal is steadily declining on the right. Air and water pollution is the main cause of extinction of many species around the world. That is true. We're losing cheetahs, elephants, bumblebees, all sorts of animals. Needlessly. Between 10,000 and 100,000 species become extinct every year in the name of profit. There is so much shade in this game and I love it. It's sad really though. has lost half of its wildlife in the past 40 years. That says something. It says a lot about man. Only Rodrigo can stop the sixth wave. If Rodrigo cares. Which is still left to be said for 
a lot of people. Far too many. Anthropocene, the sixth wave. Well, that was um, an inter interesting, um, that was an interesting um, game. A lot deeper than I thought it would be, which was absolutely great. These type of games, I love how they have facts in them, something that leaves more of an impact for you to think about and um, talk about amongst you know your friends. <coughs> but um, this game was right. We are unfortunately killing off a lot of wildlife that don't deserve it at all. Bees are dying off, cheetahs, tigers, <coughs> tigers, lions, all sorts of animals that I would like for to be around for many, many years. We're losing them to selfishness and greed and want for more power. Um, it's unfortunate, unnecessary, but hopefully things change sooner rather than later. Because, I mean, killing the environment pretty much. So fortunate but um this game does shed light on it and that's um very interesting it's really nice graphics are a1 pretty much every everything about this game was just great so alex and nicholas this was um an amazing game i would definitely play games like this something that's fun but also i can learn something that's always great um, but yeah, um, this will be like my last video. I do leave for next week for a while from YouTube pretty much. Uh, I talked about it in one of my vlogs. I probably won't upload another vlog. This will be like my last, um, video. Because I have some military stuff to do and take care of and this was my choice and I'm very happy and pleased with my decision. Um, it's unfortunate and sad that I, I mean, I'm going to be gone for like six months, but um, I know it's worth it and I'm, I'll be very happy afterwards with it. I'm very happy with my decision. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry for like taking so long with this video. I've been kind of like nervous about leaving so it's been kind of difficult for me to like really sit down and record a video because uh life comes at you fast and you know you're excited about one thing and then when it like really hits you it's like oh crap this is reality this is happening so um i'm not leaving forever from youtube i do want to come back and get better um software and a better laptop and actual like better graphics and stuff so I could upload better content um, my face won't be in every video I think that it's better in some videos to not have a webcam than others but um, this is really nice just doing this sometimes um, but yeah you know I appreciate all the support, all the likes, the comments, the advice I've been given. Anyone that's ever shared the video or anything, like I appreciate all the support. Cause I can't do this without, you know, the support of those that subscribe to me or or help me in other ways. Um, so this is all uh, just very nice. Um, so yeah. That being said, I'm just going to cut it short. Well, not short, but I'll cut it here because I've already been talking for quite a while. So, yeah, this is Black Asagi, aka Joy. And it's been great six months so far, me being on YouTube with my own channel. And I can't wait for 
the next well after I come back I can't wait for the next six months of me doing videos so I thank you all for the likes comments support and everything I appreciate it and I will see you guys